Fukushima disaster look deep inside harrowing remains of Japan's melted nuclear reactor. A video taken by remote-controlled robots exploring the Fukushima nuclear disaster site in Japan reveals heaps of melted nuclear fuel still present inside. The Fukushima nuclear disaster was caused by a dual earthquake-tsunami combo that struck Japan in 2011. This caused the cooling systems in the nuclear power plant to break down, leading to a catastrophic meltdown. This was the most severe nuclear accident since the Chernobyl disaster in 1986, with the two being the only nuclear accidents to ever be classified as a seven on the international nuclear event scale. During the meltdown, most of the radioactive fuel fell into the bottom of their containment vessels, which made its removal extremely difficult. Previously, authorities tried to send a small robot with cameras into the Unit 1 reactor, but to no success. However, a remote-operated vehicle was able to capture images and video this week that revealed the damaged structures, along with mounds of what is believed to be the melted fuel. According to Tokyo Electric Power Company, holdings the plant operator, other debris was also found submerged in cooling water. They said on February 9th, the two-day Fukushima Daiichi NPS Unit 1 PCV interner investigation was completed as scheduled. This time, clumps of deposits were found in workspace under the PCV. The three damaged reactors still hold about 900 tons of melted nuclear fuel, including about 280 tons in Unit 1. Officials claim that removing this fuel will take about three to four decades. However, experts believe that timeline is overly optimistic. A spokesperson for TEPCO, Kenichi Takahara, stated that the piles of debris rose from the bottom of the container. Some of the debris was inside the pedestal, which lay directly underneath the core, suggesting the mounds were melted fuel that fell in the area. According to the energy company, the robot, carrying several tiny cameras, was able to get pictures of the internal images of the reactor's primary containment vessel while it was on a mission to establish a path for future probes. Mr. Takahara noted that further probes will be needed to confirm what the objects in the images are. The radiation at the site is still at extremely deadly levels, according to Mr. Takahara. At one location, the robot measured a radiation level of 2 sieverts, far higher than the annual exposure limit for plant workers, said, at 50 millisieverts. TEPCO stressed that it was taking safety as its utmost priority. They say this investigation was performed after constructing boundaries to prevent gases from inside the PCV from licking to the outside. There were no significant fluctuations in data from monitoring post or dust monitors or with plant parameters before and after the investigation, so there was no radiological impact on the surrounding environment. We will continue to prioritize safety while carefully conducting these investigations.